this really changes because the, the first thing is the analog to the digital right now. Any person expertise in the generative AI and break through the expertise this cut together because the, if the human need to learn domain of finance, insurance, legal or any, it should be reborn because we cannot learn anything. But right now we have gender, generative AI mm. and in short, it's like a 10 times, 100 times human power. That means it's a break to the time, break to the expertise, break to the uh, gaps of the each domain is already talk together, learn together, and recommendation because the customer right now need to have at least domain specific like a banking, finance, and require legal in any place because the, they need to learn something in the business. It's not impact to the any legal term because the another, another days is not right now. The people need to, the customer need to know about the uh, food delivery, uh, right hearing, in the personalization, in the person, in the positioning, because the, um, the legacy model is kind of serve that. But right now, the generative I can recommendation that, like a right hearing in the intelligence. David, I'm going to come to you. Um, and I know that you have a lot of experience, particularly in the finance sector. So based on your experience in this field, what changes are you seeing? At this point, I would say our banks in the region are more on the low-hanging fruit stage, plus learning more about how to use it and uh, adapting to current limitations of the AI. Mm. Of course, being banks, mm. the, we, we have to be more prudent, so to speak, right? Yeah. What is, uh, there are a few things in the, in the banking industry which are very clear, which is well accepted in the world, which we are doing here in Asia, right? First is, it reads very well. So we put all our, our, our paperwork with it. It reads for us, <laughs> right? Yeah. Second, it can speak quite well. Yeah. So we put on the chatbots. These are low hanging fruits, mm -hmm. right? And a lot of this, a lot of the AI work we do today in the bank is not really directly related to the AI science itself. Mm -hmm. It's how to get the bank, how to get the bank to the AI science. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. So it's, it's been said in circles that actually 70% of the people in the world are doing something with AI. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. But at the same time, they are only spending 30% on AI, yeah. which means they are spending the 70% preparing themselves for the AI. Okay. We have been using AI for years now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we've been implementing for them huge infrastructure or GPUs infrastructure mm -hmm. around the world. So it's in Asia, but also in the US. And this is really a, a way for them to, uh, to go faster on the market. Mm -hmm. But those are very few companies. Most of the companies, most of our customers, not so mature on the Gen AI. They're still trying to find what is the right business case for them. Mm -hmm. And David, as you said, fully agree with you. Those yeah. companies are using the low hanging fruits mm -hmm and they would use uh, AI for productivity. Mm -hmm. For example, for mm -hmm. document processing, for uh, fraud detection, yeah. for uh, you know, a lot of use cases that are not on the core mm -hmm. business because they're still finding the, the right business model for the core business, mm -hmm. but the, for the back end, for the productivity, mm -hmm. there will be a lot of changing, even on HR. Today, mm -hmm. there are some uh, uh, platform where you, are, you can hiring, do hiring through a video and yeah. AI right. and find the right candidate for you. Right. So definitely it will be a huge change. So we are just at the beginning. Right. Uh, but I really believe that uh, we need to help all those customers to really understand what they can achieve with AI. Yeah, very interesting. So I would like to bring it on to you, William, because obviously we've heard quite a lot of uh, interesting things from the guys around the table. But I just yep. wonder from your own experience with what you're doing in Huawei Cloud, mm -hmm. um, and based on what you've heard from the guys, what additional insights you'd like to add uh, to what they told us? Yeah, actually, it's uh, really uh, give us a paradigm shift. And uh, we think um, cloud is a really good way to make AI source more accessible to our customers, like uh, David mentioned earlier. So um, if you look around, you can see that AI actually does give a boost to the cloud business. Yes, agreed. Yeah, but that's actually not the key here. So most important thing is AI actually make uh, us, you know, be more capable 
to work with our partner to sell our customer bag. Okay, so AI gave our new capabilities. Okay, that is actually uh, much more important. And here are some examples. So for AI can accelerate the uh, product launch, especially for the product development, which uh, uh, need a long time and like uh, drug research. So typically, if you do a uh, drug research, it, it needs several years. And with the AI help, uh, it can greatly reduce the um, uh, drug screen uh, phase and it can reduce the um, drug development from three years to just six months. Mm -hmm. That's uh, a lot of improvement. Yeah. And the second example is um, uh, AI can improve the numeric uh, uh, scientific computing. Okay, so a good example is in the weather forecast. It probably needs you know uh, three thousand um, uh, servers, yeah. and uh, and it, it needed to calculate it for hours. But with the help of AI, it can just need seconds, so it can be more predictable. Another example is for AI to improve the operational efficiency. Um, a good example actually is for the mining scenarios. So with the help of AI, uh, we can greatly reduce the uh, personnel in the ground and uh, uh, using the CV capabilities uh, with the help of AI. So it can greatly uh, improve the safety. Uh, so that's actually very important. So as you can say, uh, AI does help us to enable customer to be more efficient, more you know, uh, safety kind of things. It's, uh, it's really important for us. Okay, so it's not only improve our business, but also enable us to work with a partner to help our customers. Yeah. Okay.